sensible. How are you guys doing? Very well, thank you. Tell us a bit about the plane. Uh, well, it's about the plane. It's about you. It aims to try to invent anaesthetic. And it's his journey to preventing, uh, perfecting the solution, experimenting on dogs, himself, maids, anyone he can to uh, to be able to say he is the inventor of anaesthetic. All right, right. Yeah, and he spends the whole show being really horrible to everyone, doesn't he? Uh -huh. Yeah. And so, this is played by you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 The audition went really well. It was really easy. Feel quite at home with that, don't yeah. You? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's really the long and the short of it. But it's also about ethically, do we feel enough pain as a society? Mm -hmm. The invention of anaesthetic essentially allows you to f not feel pain. Um, and what does that then give us the right to not feel, should we not feel boredom, should we not feel passion, love, hate, because actually feeling things is quite important. Yeah. Um, and it just explores that a bit as well. All right, brilliant. So how has it been for you as a director of this piece? Um, interesting to watch from the first day. It's been very pleasant. Everyone's been so nice and very helpful. And um, any issues that come up or problems, everybody's there just to help out, which is just oh, wonderful. And especially with these guys who are just working so hard constantly. So, how many is there in the cast? Uh, four. In four. Total. I, I think it should be a one man show, but <laughs> he kept getting other actors in to play the other characters. I was really annoyed, but I thought we'll do it anyway, see what happens. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, so you were actually in the free fringe for the last couple of years up until this point. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, when, uh, our previous production was uh, Soundbite, which was uh, with the uh, PHB uh, free fringe. Uh -huh. And the comparisons into being in socio with the top end fringe, yeah. so far much different. But the, um, I suppose the, uh, the people that turn up with what is pay money and then for just turning up for free, it just makes it just so much more interesting with the, uh, with the responses that you get afterwards yeah. and the reviews that you come with it as well. Uh, so we got the, uh, the review with uh, the Scotsman this morning and uh, sales was gone just, just from one reading. So it's just really, really interesting to see the, see the difference between the two. So how do you want your audiences to feel? What do you want their reaction to be when they're coming out of the performance? Well, you and I probably have different opinions on that, but uh, as, as the writer, I just want them to, to go away and think really as, as a society do we feel enough yeah. um, and it is there is there too much detachment from life now do we do we take painkillers for this do we take uh, depress uh, antidepressants if we're feeling this and actually should we just accept our feelings if they're good or bad? Finn told me this morning that my head didn't look good and it hurt like they're in that room with us. You, you get these scenarios where you go to a big theatre and you watch this play. Well, I, I'd like them to think that they were in that room with us, feeling those things or not feeling those things. Or, or just, just believing that they are inside our world. I really like to feel like I'm in a world when I go to see the theatre. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking to us, guys. Thank you. You've been watching Waffle TV, sponsored by Bulmers. <laughs>